So you have put hours into that school project and you are finally ready to name it, save it, and turn it in. Well, hold up and make sure you're doing it right. Starting with naming your files the right way. To explain, you should know there are some classic ways that this crucial step can all go wrong. Behold some cautionary tales. Whose logo? Which logo? The world may never know. And you might not get credit. But is it really the final? What if you spot a typo and need to save another version? Ooh, so very close, but you just made your teacher's life a little bit harder because their gradebook is in alphabetical order by last name. Okay, so how do you name your school project the right way? I'm glad you asked. Behold the problem-solving beauty of last name, first name, project, and version number. Interesting side note, while some folks like to rock the underscore instead of the dash, search engines see underscores as a way of grouping words together, while dashes separate words. So dashes make content posted online easier to search for and find. Number two, saving to the cloud. Now that you know how to name your file properly, make sure to avoid the range of potential file zapping disasters, including coffee spills, rabid dogs, unruly siblings, acts of God, and slippery fingers, all causing you to tragically lose all your work. Instead, be sure to save your work to a cloud storage service like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Adobe Creative Cloud, you get the idea. Just don't make your computer the only place you have all of your work. All right, so there it is. Make your life and your teacher's lives a lot easier by naming and saving your files the right way. Ronan out. 